box and I typed terminal and this terminal came up. Uh, so PWD is a print working directory. This is effectively the same user interface as Linux and uh, most servers are done with Linux. So our goal is to install a Python. Now the first thing to do is to check to see if you've already got installed because you can type the command python dash dash version and see that we have Python 2.7. Now if you actually just say Python you'll go into the shell and you'll get some really bad warnings because Python 2 as of the recording this moment is actually out of support. If you ever get in this uh, triple chevron prompt you just say quit close paren and that will get you out of it. So because Mac OS used Python, let me do a clear here, um, because Python is used inside Mac OS and they use Python too, we tend to have to install our own copy of Python and it will show up as Python 3. Now if you just type Python 3 minus minus version and you already have a Python, then don't bother installing it. And I'm not, I wouldn't, I don't want to install the developer tools. So I'm just going to say cancel right here. It, it might be part of that, but I just rather install the official Python distribution. So we're going to go to python.org and click on downloads. And it knows it's already figured out that I'm on Mac. So I'm going to download Python uh, 3.11. Just download the latest one, you'll be fine. So that download is now completed. I'm going to open it up and click on it. And we're going to go continue, continue, continue. I agree. So now it's installing. And it is showing me a folder with Python in it. I'm going to click close my downloads. And so it seems to be installed. We'll go ahead and move the installer to the trash. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say Python 3 minus minus version. Oops. Let's close this. And open terminal again. Python 3 minus minus version. There we go. So you notice I had to close my terminal and open it again because this shell needed to see the, the new software. So you can do that. You won't have to do that again. Um, there's a command you can type that might fix that by you just say rehash. That says look those. No, nope, it doesn't even have it. So I'm wrong there. But eventually you want to see Python 3 minus minus version. And away we go. So you have Python installed. The next problem you need is you need a programmer editor. You don't want to use text edit. So um, Mac comes with this thing called text edit. Don't use this because it saves in a weird format called RTF. So don't use text edit. Just don't use it. So you got to find a programmer application, a programmer editor. And so if we take a look at Python for everybody, we have this page called editors. Now, the best editor depends. You may already have an editor. If you have an editor, keep it. We have a couple of recommendations. Brackets, which is a super simple one. VS Code, which is really nice. But the installation can be a little tricky. So I'm just not going to, for beginners, I'm just going to recommend uh, brackets. But if you will have one, you like one, you like Sublime. Over the years that we've been teaching this course, there's just been so many editors that have come and gone. Um, and so <laughs> I probably should put a little thing on here that says all the editors that we don't use anymore or the, all the recommended editors that we don't use. Brackets.io is, for now, it, I like it. It's open source. It's free. It looks to me like it's going to stay free and open source, and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and so I like that. So I'm going to download that. And 
So we're going to open it. I'll just click on here to open it. There's the bracket GitHub, which is nice. So I'm just copying it from the brackets code into my application folder. And the applications is where on the Mac you um, put things that are going to be run. So now I'm going to just close this, and I've got a couple things on my desktop here. Uh, that's the, it's not brackets, that's the brackets mount point. So now to run brackets, I'm going to go up to my search and type brackets, and click brackets. I'll go ahead and hide this page. And yes, I wanted to make sure I didn't, I'm not installing some bad stuff. So here we have brackets. It's a nice, simple editor. And it starts up. And So I'm going to close um, this window. And I am going to create a new file. And I'm going to say print hello world. And then I'm going to save this file. And one thing that you're going to have to keep track of is where you're at. So users admin, this desktop is in users admin desktop. So I'm going to change directory into desktop, PWD print working directory. So you see I'm in users admin desktop. I'm going to make a directory, mkdir py4e. Then I'm going to change into that directory. Like I said, it's a good thing for you to learn all these things. So now I'm in the folder py4e. And if I look on my desktop, I've got this folder py4e that currently has nothing in it. So this terminal and this folder are the same thing. So now I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to go into my desktop and go into py4e, and I'm going to call this file. hello.py. I'm going to save it. Now at this point it snorts it knows it's a Python file and graphic brackets knows what Python you know syntax highlighting is so that's quite nice. So if I look in py free I see there is a file. And if I look in it in terminal and I say ls minus l I see that file as well. <coughs> to run that file I say python3 hello.py. And with that, I have created my first Python program. I've installed a text editor. I've installed Python and created my first program. So I hope that you uh, found this useful. See you in the rest of the course.